Oh, hello there. So glad of you to join us today. I am Captain Richard, and here I am in our fireside chat. Today we will peruse what links were shared with us on our Google Classroom. Let us see who has joined us in the chat today. Well, I see young Master Sky is here. And Alice says, hello, Captain. Why, hello to you, Mademoiselle Alice. And there is Micah. Good to see you all today. Yes, I was reading my book. Maya asks, is this live? Maya, you will have to figure that out for yourself. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to peruse some of the shared links on our Google Classroom in our fireside chat. We shall see what you have brought to us this week. Oh, Caitlin is here too. Hello there, young mademoiselle. Let us go to mrincorvia.com and we will go and oh wait no we're not going to mrincorvia.com we are going to our google classroom so let's see ah here we are on the google classroom many links were shared this week Let's take a look. Kaylin says, Reagan, I do that a lot too because sometimes watch STEM on TV but then can't chat. It is true. Reagan is having problems on the Chromebook. Can't see the chat. I do not understand why that is a problem for you, Miss Reagan. Perhaps you have turned the chat off. Perhaps that is what has happened. All right, let us go. Oliver has shared with us a number of games. Let us check out what he has shared with us this week. Oh yes, but of course I need to pull up my chat. Let me do that first. Let me pull up the chat first. In that way we might share each other our thoughts. Here we are. Very good. Okay. So. Here we have a game called... Swirly. Hmm. Hmm. The Swirly. Let us see what this is. Just click the flag. Hi, it's Oliver. I worked hard on this. Well, we shall see how you have done. was invigorating mm. okay onward to baseball let's click on I like the baseball press start then space cheering sounds okay here we are press space oh very good very good now, it does seem, though, that your pit, your batter swings before the ball is there. Let us remix this. So here we are. I believe all we need to do is add a bit of a longer wait right here. Let's do a one second wait, see if that is enough. 
Oh, a little too slow. Let's do 0.75. Okay, here we go. Pow! There we go. Home run. So did you see that, Mr. Oliver? Are you here, Mr. Oliver? You copied my code. Are we talking about the Swirly app? Because I believe that was a... I believe the Swirly app was a remix of... Uh, where is it? The Mysteries of the Universe. Ah, here it is. Mysteries of the Universe. This is an app I made. Here it is. <laughs> That's one of my favorite apps. <laughs> All right. Onward. Dino Disco. Dino Disco. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I helped you before you made that. Oh, perhaps. Perhaps it's true. Look, the remix of that game. I will. Well, let's get through all the original ones here. Okay, Shuriken Training. Use the arrow keys to move the blue dot to hit the target. Space to fire. Up arrow to move. Okay, arrow keys to move. All right, here we are. So. Um, well, moving does seem to move the ball in some ways. Hmm. Let's try again here. Let's reload. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. The left and right arrows do not seem to work. So I have to fix that one up. And then what do we have here? Corset? Oh, concert. Concert, right, very good. All right, space bar up, left, down, and right. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then tap Giga. Very good. All right, Oliver, excellent jobs making all a bunch of these different things. Beatrix, my scratch is in another language. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, your scratch is in another language. Let's see, how can we fix that for you? If we go to log into scratch. Hmm. Ah, up here. See this little globe looking thing? You're gonna to have to click this and then find English right there. That will change it back for you, Beatrix, okay? Look at the remix below. Look at the remix below. All right, let's see. But there, oh, where'd my chat go? There it is. Um. The remix to which game, sir? 
Was it the Tapagiga? No remixes there. Concert? No remixes there. So swirly here. Let's see what the swirly code is. Okay. The Shuriken training. Oh, here's a remix. How do I get to the remix though? I think you posted it on the forum here. Um, this one, here we are. Here we are. Yes, glad, it, glad you got it to work. All right. Oh, here we have a mouse. Aim with your mouse and shoot with space. Get points for shooting the target. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, very good. Good. Excellent. Good job. A quite ripping remix. Ha ha ha. Okay. This is your studio. Oh, very good. We will check that. Let's see what else we have here today. Um, there's a Disco Dino remix. Ryer, repost. Totally accurate battle simulator. Not a first person shooter and there's no blood, but my mom wanted to check with you to see if it's school appropriate. Um, where is the link? <laughs> and I think that you should listen to your mother, Sir Ryer. There. Ha ha ha. I bet Ryer was not expecting me to respond in that manner. Ha ha ha. Oh, yes. Well, your name there says Beatrix. So that is what I was using. It's a very lovely name. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alice asks, Cap, can you, you, can... I use you as my parent guardian teacher for my Microsoft MakeOver account. And then Micah says you don't need an account to use MakeCode. That is correct. You do not need to use a, uh, you do not need an account to use MakeCode. Now what's interesting about MakeCode is that all of the files are saved locally. So if you share a computer, I don't even think you can sign in. Here is a sign in over here. Okay, now I'm signed in. <laughs> Does that change anything over here? Doesn't look like it. I don't even see where we can sign in. Huh. Okay. So what you should do when you are coding is make sure you back up your games. You know, if you are here, you're making this football pass, make sure you download it to your computer so that way it saves. Alice added a game she made. All right, let's go check out the game. Um, here is Alice, game I made. All right. Oh. Try to get the apple. Try to get the apple to touch the unicorn by using the arrow keys. All right, here we go. Arrow keys. Gotcha. Wow. I didn't even have to move. <laughs> okay. So I'm moving the apple. There we are. It's very flashy apple. And try to get the apple to touch the unicorn. Okay. 
No, come back. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah, oh. ah, gotcha. Alz, your unicorn is very fast. Oh. Come back, come back. Now I see that there is a key moving around too. What does the key do? Let's look at the code. If touching apple, go to a random position and wait. Oh, okay. So you do have it jump around, but not much going on with there. I like it. It's a good beginning of a game there. All right. What is this? This is a YouTube link. I don't, I will not be clicking on a YouTube link right now. Okay, Dino Remix by Micah. Hello, Maya. You have a question? Oh, Aiden is with us. Hello, Mr. Aiden. It hides the key. Oh, yes, it hides the key. All right, here we are. Press start and enjoy. Yep, same instructions. Music, Ben Sound. That was awesome. I really liked how you timed the uh, the dancing and lights with the drop. Let's, let's watch it again. Excellent. Good job. That was very entertaining. All right. Let's see if we have any more. Um, these are remixes. Looks like these are all ones we've already seen. All right, very good, ladies and gentlemen. Good, good, good job. We need more. Continue to make more excellent video games. And let's post it on our stream. And then on our fireside chats, we shall sh share them together. Oh, here is a question. Let me see. Hold on. Let me look up real quick. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Ah, yes. So I am looking for a Mr. Trey Gaskell. If you could have him. He needs to contact me. <laughs> he needs to contact me. I have a surprise for him. Look at this, hold on. I will get it. Young Master Trey. Young Master Trey was a winner of a contest last year. And he has won this. This is a little build your own video game console. And we will put it together. But I need to talk to him because normally I would see him in school. And then I'd be like, hey, when do we want to do this? But we are, it looks like we're not going to be in school for quite some time. So we need him to reach out to me. Turtle Mo. That's right, Turtle Mo on Minecraft. Now tomorrow with Minecraft. Tomorrow will be the last day of our server. We will go onto it and we will look around one last time real quick, quick 
and then we will um, give it a good deleting and re roll a whole new server that we can play around on. It will be quite quite smashing. Let's go back here. Here we are. Much better. Now, if you wish to come back, and if you wish to come back at two o'clock today, back on this channel, we are going to have a little pandemic science class. I will give you a little preview. Let's see. Okay, here we are. MrIncorvia.com And you will go down to the orange button, the links. It's kind of hard to talk when you have this stupid pipe in your mouth. And then go down to Pandemic Science. We're going to look at this right here. Jamming the Curve. This was a game jam. So a game jam is where... Um, you get a whole bunch of coders like me and you and everyone goes and sits in the same room and they say okay everyone in 10 hours we're going we're going to sit in this room for 10 hours and everyone is going to code a video game at the end of the 10 hours we're all going to trade video games it's a lot of fun i've never i've never done one before but i've seen some people do them. I've also um, got to play a bunch of games that came out of Game Jam. So it's a good way to communicate. Lots of fun. Maybe we should have a Game Jam. That sounds like a ripping idea. We should have a Game Jam. All right. Anyways, this Jamming the Curve was where a whole bunch of coders came together and they decided to code some video games about the pandemic. So these are games that they came up with. Um, one of them I can't really get to work. <laughs> but um, the others were fun and we will take a look at them in the next hour. And that is coming up in at two o'clock. Yes, we should have a game. Yeah, 10 hours. Yeah, video games take a very long time to code. You know? I mean, let's take a look here. This game... What is my biggest game I've coded online here? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Probably the the most advanced game. Well, you saw me code Radical Race, right? We did this game together. And this game, as you as you all saw, it took us like all of last spring to, um, to code it. So, you know, that was maybe like five or six hours of being online together to code this game. Oh, I crashed. <laughs> I crashed. So yes, coding video games takes a takes a very long time. You don't code that much. Ah, well. Maya, you should. You should code with us. We can come in and do some of the um some simple scratch games or if you want, you can do some light bot or coding with Minecraft while we play. I also, we just discovered this coding with Flappy Bird, which was excellent. <laughs> Are there other cool code games that we can do? Let's see. Where would it be? Maybe under, oh, what was that? Code your own dance party, AI for oceans, Minecraft, we already know that one. Flappy code. Ooh, there's some fun ones here we should take a look at. 
Maybe we shall do that for our next fireside chat. Watch Cap's old videos on it, yes. Ryer says, I exist. Ah, very good, Ryer. I have replied to your post on my Google Classroom. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It was very good to have you today here in our fireside chat. The fire is so warm and fiery. Feel the heat coming off of the embers. Beautiful. Well, at two o'clock we shall uh i shall be back on this channel and we are going to do a junior high pandemic science class so if you want to come back at two o'clock and join us for and we will explore these online video games about the pandemic fare thee well young masters be well <laughs>